monkey in your pants? Alright folks, I fucking hate the fact that I say alright folks all the time. See like being a bald man, trying to like um, do some lighting in a room for a DIY hobby YouTube video. Can never get rid of the shiny bit. It's the price I pay. So I do hope everybody is well. I am well. I am well aware that it's been a little bit of a while since I last done a video. Vote for Pedro is what my t-shirt says. Do or don't, I do not care. Um, I actually don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna open a can of juice. Sorry. Hold on. You might. You may or may not hear it. You may have heard that. I may have edited it out. Who knows? I'm gonna have a drink. You may or may not see that. I may edit it out. Who knows? And now I might burp. I may or may not edit it out. Who knows? Um, it has been. I'm well aware that it's been a little while since I last done a video. Um, I am well. It's been crazy times, as everybody is aware. I hope everybody else is well, to be fair out there. Um, it's not easy going, and it's not been easy going, and it's challenging times, and we just need to try and get through it. Um, I don't think I've done a video in this room, actually. It's a different room in my house. Much bigger. Lots of things changed. Muckle OLED telly over there. New consoles. Maybe I need to do a room tour video. Who knows? Maybe. I need to burp. I knew I was going to need to burp. So this is um, more than just a quick, hi, I'm fine. I've had quite a few messages, surprisingly, um, from people asking me to do videos and whatnot. I've not been, um, I've just not. Multiple reasons. Work, life, sleep, working out. Very little time to do anything in between. So um, I'm fortunate in the, in the, I'm fortunate in the sense, that's the word that I was looking for, that um when all this madness in the world happened, so to speak, um, still in employment. Um, I've been working at home now since uh, more or less a year. A year, actually. I'm looking at the date since March last year, more or less. Um, I've been working from home. Um, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, we're incredibly busy um, where I work. I'm not going to say what I do. This is my life. You're the internet. There has to be a barrier there professional reasons etc etc amongst other things um but yeah so um i've been working at home been really in, really incredibly busy we have where i work um received a promotion as well so sort of middle of last year um i'm now a business development manager for the company that i work for so it's all all go it's absolutely bonkers so with me working from home busier than ever and then i finish work and then on the back of that i am um, exercise for an hour or so um, yeah, there's not much time to do much else, to be fair. Um, but life is life, so I will try and start to make some more videos, I suppose. Um, it's going to be a random, random video, random waffle video, drink time. So, yeah, I apologise, not making any videos. It's what happens with people, though. A lot of people I'm subscribed to, they just see that they've just more or less disappeared off the face of the planet. Um, but, yeah, it's it's... Life is life, YouTube is YouTube, unless you're doing it as a career. It's uh, unfortunately not as important as maybe other priorities in one's lives, I suppose. So, the first topic of today, I suppose, is, yeah, new room. Um, how come I got a new room? Did I just build it on the side of the house? No. Um, we live in a, let me see, it's quite a decent sized house. I'm trying to count how many rooms it's got. Um, three bedrooms and an office. Basically, um, an office was the previous room. My office, Stroke Games room, was the previous room that I was in, and um, it was quite small. It's fine, but for where it was, and this massive room was my son's room. Cue the "I'm a bad parent" move in a minute, but <laughs> I never swear. <laughs> Honestly, not really. <laughs> Somehow, I can't remember how it happened, and it wasn't through bribery or any tricks or anything like that. Um, me and my son swapped rooms, and he actually really loves his room. It's plenty big enough. He's got a, what's he got in it? I think he's got like a 55 inch TV, a flat screen TV in it. He's got his Xbox, bed, double bed, um, drawers, wardrobe, etc, etc, etc. And he's not like squeezed in there. So he, he actually loves it. He likes it better than um, 
this room, which was his old room. So I've got this room. It's uh, it's much bigger, much better. I was crammed into the other room. But if if my son said, Dad, Daddy, Daddy, can I have my room back, please? I'd be like, yeah, all right. Never mind the fact that I broke my back moving everything about for you. But um, yeah, I would swap back. But this room's much, much better. So I will probably do a room tour type thing. I've got a big comfy sofa chair here. I've got a huge desk arrangement. I've got an arcade machine there, which I've never played. I mean, I've never done a video on. Um, Muckle 55 inch OLED over there. IKEA cabinet. You can just see a PS5 peeking out the corner there. Shelfy things over there, etc. So yeah, it's much, much, much better. So that's that. Secondly, um, an interesting thing or a potentially exciting thing that's um, on the horizon, so to speak, for me is um, my internet options. Now, where I live, I'm like, I'm not like so rural as in I have to go walking with um, <laughs> walking with buckets to fetch water every day or anything like that. I do have running water. I do have electricity. I don't have gas because I live in the middle of nowhere, so we use oil. Um, for central heating etc um, but I'm about maybe four miles from the closest town and um, if it snows where I, where I live I can get stuck quite easily it is a little bit rural stroke remote quite hard to find if you don't know the area um, but because of that uh, the challenges of having a decent internet connection comes along with it BT um, it's like a I measured it once on old Google Maps I think it's about a two what is it, a two mile, three mile, maybe more, run to the closest box thing. Um, and anybody who knows anything about copper phone wires, etc., cetera, uh, they don't work well over that sort of distance. And for some reason, Scotland particularly, well, UK and particularly Scotland are so backwards in terms of um, their sort of infrastructure for internet. Whereas um, I've got a friend who lives in New Zealand, it's a bit like Scotland. He lives in the middle of nowhere. Guess what? He's got fibre at the premises. So it's something that's not going to happen where I live basically anytime soon. And I've said I'll always do a video on this. I probably will at some point. I use currently point-to-point -point, um, internet, radio internet, and it, it works really well when it works. Um, it's basically I've got a little receiver on the side of my house. And because I've got trees behind my house, it bounces off to a farmhouse and then it bounces from the farmhouse who also is one of the customers up to a relay station, then relay station, relay station, relay station, da, 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 all the way to where the internet lives, basically. And it does work really well. Um, typically, you can game totally fine in it, etc. Um, but it's I've had it for a year and a half, something like that, and it has its issues. I don't really think it's the technology. I think it's the company that is dealing with it and their, <laughs> their customer service, the network infrastructure, their capacity to deal with the volume um, of uh, data, if you like, traffic. Um, they're a nightmare, nightmare, nightmare to deal with. So, um, for those of you who may or may not know, Starlink, um, Lord Elon's, oh, Lord Elon's um, internet service, uh, I've pre-ordered that. And from what I've seen, um, it works really, really well. Just now I get about 45 meg down, 20 up when it's working. Um, sometimes the latency is all over the place. Packet loss is a bit all over the place. Um, and it, it sometimes it just has a shit fit and barely even works. Um, but uh, Starlink internet, low orbit satellite internet, and it's not like satellite internet of yesteryear. It works really, really well. Um, they're aiming for latency of about 20 milliseconds this year and speeds are, that is also aiming for about 300 megabits per second, which if you live in a city or you live in a densely populated area and you've got fiber at the premises, you'd probably think that's incredibly slow, but for rural people like myself, um, it could be an absolute, absolute game changer. So um, deposits all paid for that, etc. And i um, hoping middle of the year something like that and i'm really hoping it's going to tie in the point where um, i'm out of contract with my current provider because i've been nicey nice with them because they have threatened to disconnect me because they are twats and because i was giving them a really grief to be fair um but i would say let them try and i'd kick up a massive shit stink basically so uh, hopefully that ties in with just before my current provider's contract is up because then i'll literally be like oh 
to my current provider. And I'm deliberately not saying their name because I don't want an excuse for them to find me, I don't know, you know what I mean, disconnect my service or saying I was breaching some sort of terms of agreement or some nonsense like that. So, excuse me drinking, I'm talking an awful lot. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So really excited about the prospect of that moving forward. Um, a massive game changer for rural people like myself. I live in southern Scotland, middle of nowhere, Scottish borders. Yeah, looking forward to it. It should be, it should be pretty decent. So that's the um, obligatory waffly nonsense, um, nonsense, nonsense out of the way. I have still be buying some things, but I'm trying to be really, really sensible and um, get finances massively under control to a certain degree. Um, like most people, have always got a certain amount of debt, always have done, pay stuff off, use a bit more, pay stuff off, use some more. But um, now try to really, really, really hammer it down. So I've been quite tight on the whole spending, apart from a new OLED TV for this room and some new consoles. Apart from that, try to be really, really tight on some spending. But... I am collecting um, Hit Squad games is what I'm collecting for the glorious ZX Spectrum, the greatest console. It's not a console, I hate people who say that. The greatest comp gaming machine of all time. It's a computer. 8-bit computer in the UK if you don't know what a, a ZX Spectrum is. It's amazing. So I'm collecting the Hit Squad games. Um, and there's quite a few and quite a few of them are quite rare. I've luckily already got quite a few of the rare ones, quite a few of the costly ones. Um, I think in total I need about 16 more something like that um i've got some that i'll show here i've got some that i've picked up that i'll show in another video as well but i think after once i include those two i think i need 16 more and um try to find them is they've come up now and again on like the ebay or facebook selling groups but yeah it's it's a case of it's the games that were released late on in the spectrum's life um like most systems, etc. It just it just proves it, it just makes it really hard to get them and it pisses me off. <laughs> I've actually thought, right, is there any point in me doing this if I'm not going to get a full collection? So I only wanted to collect these. Well, I didn't only want to collect them. I stopped once I started collecting these, I decided that I wanted a full collection. And if I can't get a full collection, do I want them? Does that make sense? There must be others in the same sort of boat as that. So, first game, no show. It's a game that um, I don't, I've never played on Spectrum, I don't think. But it's a game that my friend Paul, uh, he changed his name a million times. What's his name now? Glorified Toaster. S some of you have met him before at Blackpool. He's come down with me, etc. Stuff like that. Um, he likes Transformers and he likes video games. <laughs> played it at his house. At a he was one of the one of the, one of us one of our friends amongst us that had a Commodore sixty four. He was like the out. The out, outliner, outsider, is that even the right word? One of the few who had a Commodore 64, because most of my other friends and stuff that I knew had Spectrums. Nobody had Amstrad. I can't speak. Nobody had Amstrads. <laughs> Obvious reasons. Do I need to go into that? But anyway, um, first game is, you know, excuse the glare, there you go, I'll hold it like that. Uh, Last Ninja 2. And for once, for once, is this, is this, is this? I was going to say, for once, I don't think they've got the other system's graphics on the back. Shock. Everybody's got memories or must have memories of... Um... <sighs> Everybody must have memories of uh, buying video games or looking video games uh, back in the day and looking at the packaging and it said something like, screenshots taken from various computer formats. This actually says it on the back. So you go buy some Spectrum game and you're like, cool, and it's secretly either showing Amstrad or Commodore 64 or Amiga or Atari ST graphics because they had um, they had better graphics. No, they didn't. Not the Commodore 64 and Amstrad. <laughs> they had more colours, so it looked better, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. The next game is uh, Shaolin's Road. Um, it's an arcade game, I think. It's a bit like another arcade game. Where you kick people and stuff. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, Shaolin's Road. Next game's an all-time classic. It's Kono Konami arcade game. I remember playing this back in the day um, from a friend's house who just lived down the road. And I think the Spectrum version is really, really good. Um, it, I think it's awesome. But it's Yi R Kung Fu. You can see on the back of this, it's a prime example of, um, yeah, 
some of those blatantly are not Spectrum graphics, but it is what it is. Next game is um, cool arcade game. Star Wars! Little old Luke Skywalker there. See the thing? I don't know what I was going to say there. The thing? The thing? The thing! Don't know what I was going to say there at all, actually. Um, the next game is a 3D sort of wireframe type 3D game. The Spectrum done alright with these, considering the speed of the processor, and these were the type of games that, for some reason, um, the Commodore 64 just couldn't really get to grips with. Hard driving, prime example. Um, but this is Driller. Never played it. It's 3D. Meh. I might play it one day. <laughs> Next game is an arcade game, and it's actually an arcade game that I remember playing, funnily enough. Um, in the town where I lived in, there used to be a pen and paper shop that some, for some reason transformed the back, I was going to say the back entrance, the back area, that doesn't sound any better, into um, an arcade place. And I could tell a whole story about this place, actually. Maybe keep it for another video. But I had loads of cool arcade machines, etc. Um, and this was a game that I played on it, and it's a game that I had never seen before or anything like that until I played on that, and it was quite fun. I'm talking when I was like high school age, so not a million, million years ago, but it's Sly Spy Secret Agent is what it is. Quite a cool game. Um, not play the Spectrum version. Maybe I shall. Next game, another arcade classic, APB. Um, I remember playing this on, on probably the Atari ST originally at my friends, the Brothers Coops. Makes sense to me. Oh, that makes no sense to you. And the final game um, of this little pile of Hit Squad games. Now, actually, you'll see, right? I'll show you. Hit Squad games are numbered and categorized. Because somebody had ADHD. No, they're numbered and categorized. Um, ADHD, did that even make sense? Probably not. Apologies, anybody's got ADHD. Um, I probably have to certain degree. Um, numbered and categorized, so it's easy to find, easy to collect in the sense that. They're numbered and categorized. You can tell I've not done a video for a while. What I mean by that is, hopefully this might be hard to show. Ah, no, it's not, because my camera's awesome. At the bottom there, it says, Arcade Collection 22. Hopefully that's in focus. And this says, Movie Collection 10. There you go. And on this one says, Sports Collection 2. So it's nice and easy. To like uh, keep track of the game, your the, game, the collection, if you like, what you're collecting, what you need, because they're all numbered like that. And there's a couple, and um, this being one of them, that for some reason has no category. Look, I've just got a hit squad, squad sign. Um, but it's Trivial Pursuit. Again, it's a game that I remember playing um, at my friend Paul's house. Glorified Toaster is name on YouTube now. If you like Transformers, search Glorified Toaster. God knows what you'll find. But you might come across his videos somewhere. Um, but it's Trivial Pursuit. The Computer Game Genius Edition. And I'm sure, um, correct me if I'm wrong, and it's probably the only way that this game can work. I need a drink. It basically gives you... Um, I hate the little guy in this. He's like some weird deformed... Can you actually see him? That corner picture. A weird deformed little thing. He's probably got a name. If he's got a name, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, but it asks you the question, and then I think you press the button, and then, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you then, it then gives you the answer, and it says, did you get it correct? <laughs> Fuck yes. Every time. Every... <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't do like a... Um, we type it in. And it just tries to get it to be as close to what... Do you know what I mean? If you're close enough in terms of the spelling, it's correct. I don't... I don't... It's bizarre. But yeah, it's a bit of a quiz game, but with a cheaty element to it. <laughs> so final couple of um, pickups. Um, I'll do... I'll do this first. This is just something... Randomly one night, I was lying or sitting... Standing, <laughs> who knows, right? But uh, and I was like, I just went on eBay and I was like, I don't even know why I searched for this. Um, and it's the, probably the first real computer game, apart from something like Astro Wars or do you know what I mean? Something like that. The first real computer game I played because I got this with it's dusty, I got this with um, the system that I got it with, with, with as well, at whatever age I was. Um, 
and it's been sold for one pound at some point because it's got a one one hundred one pound zero zero pence sticker on it. Um, but it's probably the first game I ever played, to be fair, and it's certainly the first game I ever owned, proper video game, and it is Yars Revenge is what it is. It's a classic Atari game, um, especially for those of you who owned. Look at that artwork. For those of you, for those of you who can't speak, owned an Atari twenty six hundred. Um, these boxes are awesome. It's cool. Right, look. Da, 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 da. It's got a little bit of a squishage down here. You can maybe just... Uh, can you see that? Maybe this angle. It's been a little bit squished in there. But it's... Like, this is ancient. Ancient. And I keep hitting the microphone, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. But it's right in the way of my arm trying to lift this up. But it's so cool. Um, I'm going to take out the box. I'm going to un unclothe it. Yeah, this is the same one that I had, I think. Or mine's might have had a red, red label. But look. Fuck us. There you go. It's cool. You're basically still fly, fly. Oh, fucker thing. I don't know, right? And there's this barrier here, and you got to nibble on this little doodah thing, and then a missile thing goes. <laughs> And the Atari screen all flickers and flashes like the Atari screen does and stereotypical Atari 2600 sound effects. But it's cool. It's the first game I had. It's got manual. Special feature. Oh. <laughs> the inside. How cool is it? Right, sorry. I'm, I'm nerding out a little bit here. I've had this for ages and I've not actually looked at it properly. I was just like, yeah, cool. Stick it on the shelf. Look, it's got like... Can't see the camera. Oh my god, I'm just going to hold it and hope that you can see. Um, it's got cool uh, pictures and stuff like that in it. It's awesome. Look at that. It's cool. It's well cool. And then <laughs> the one thing I find... So the Atari 2600 was my first um, console, if you like. My first gaming machine. Um, I'm going to try and put it in here while I talk. Hey, hold on, this might be harder than I thought. Um, and it's cool. It's cool. I had this game for ages before I got any other games. And the Tarisip 2600. It's, it was cool at the time. It's pretty shit now, to be fair. <laughs> it's, it's a bit basic. But um, yeah, Yars Revenge. It's awesome. And I remember I had a CRT TV, like we all did, <laughs> in the 80s. Um, and I played this game so much. See that little bit there? Genuinely, I had a different, so a slightly different tinted section on my screen. You you could see that bit that had obviously been burnt in over time. So I, I played that game forever and hours and ever and hours and ever and hours and ever and hours. Um, will I collect any more Atari 2600 games? I do not know. I have looked at some. Um, they're not costly um, just because they're not NES and SNES and all that malarkey. Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, but this is a classic for me. I might get some more. I want to get a box protector for this, just so it doesn't get in any more beat up condition than it already is. But I might get some more. Do you know what I mean? Jungle Hunt, Crystal Castles. Can't think of anything else. Galaxian stuff. Desert Falcon. Da, 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 da. So the final two little quick pick up a doodah things are. I'll show you one first. My friend, Steve. Steven. Gashead. Oh, that made my fucking desk all dusty. Sorry. No relevance to you whatsoever. But I've got a new desk. Massive thing with a full-size mouse mat type thing that's shaped the same as the desk. But I never realised that this box was so dirty. And I just held it on it. I just laid it on top and it's and it's made it all... It's I don't know. I'm going to have to... It's made it all... Um, can I hoover my desk? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, my friend, Gashead. I don't, Steve, I don't really know what your channel name is now. Gashead. Everybody knows who Gashead is. Who knows me anyway. Um, I clocked this. I don't know if it was a video or not. And I was like, whoa, that's a thing? And I want to get more of them. Um, NECA toys. That's what it is. Oh, then I started looking at NECA toys. And oh, my God. How many different things do these NECA toy things do? But um, look. Do, do, do. I have to hold it like that so the glare doesn't get it. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to take out the box because I've not taken out the box yet. But I will one day. Look. Marty McFly. Don't know what voice that was. And you get others as well at the bottom. Look. A 
across the bottom. You get you get you get Martin McFly 1985, Martin McFly Tales from Space. You get Martin McFly 2015, which is this one. You get Doc Brown, and then you get Biff Tannen. Look at that. Awesome. And then, but yeah, I was looking at these, and you, you get like I am Arnie from the Terminator. Ter Terminator. Terminator films is what you get. But look at this. Might be quite hard to show you. There's the camera and the glare and all that jazz. But I'll do my best, this, this. Promise. Look. That's a picture. And then, I'm just doing this so I can see. Look, hopefully you can see. It's cool. Oh my god, glare. Too many lights going on in this room. Anyway, hopefully you saw that alright. McFly! McFly! You get two faces. I know I'm holding this all weird. I'm probably a bit quieter now. It's really hard to show. But it's so cool. Um Back to the Future, one of my all times all time favourite films. Part two, may I add. It's the best part. Anybody who tells you otherwise They need psychological help. Psychological? Psychological help. And probably a slap. <laughs> so then on the back of that I was like, I don't know why or how I even came across this, or maybe I'd seen something else that inspired me to search for such a thing. Um and I like I like these. Um, it's a Funko Pop is what it is. Because I've got a few. Um Claptrap. From Borderlands, one of my favourite game series. I got a Robocop from Robocop, one of my favourite films. And I've got um, uh, this fucker. <laughs> Life, some Apex Legends. I can't remember the character's name. I've not played that for ages, but I saw that in a shop once for like £5 and I bought it. So, and then I was on eBay. And I don't know why, but then I got this. Look, it's Marty McFly in the future outfit. How cool is that? I'm gonna take him out. You got all the other ones on the back too. Is this sealed? No. Good. I've actually got I've got a monkey spars one as well on the shelves behind me. I think I've showed that before, like custom made to look like me. If I've not showed it before, please shout it and I'll show it in another video. Come on, Marty. Get out of your little box. Oh, he's cool. Does he stand? Aye. Even though he's got a giant noggin. <laughs> Look at that. The size of his melon. He's the most disproportionate human being ever in existence. Granted, he's only a figure. But look, his baseball cap is awesome. And he's got his little coat that presses the button. And it dries itself up. Um, that's cool. I'm going to have to stick that somewhere that um, it stands and not falls over somewhere. But yeah, totally cool. Martin McFly. So that's it. I just showed you that because it tied in with the other thing. And a quick random pick it up. I've actually got quite a few bits and bobs that I've never shown uh, that I will. I've got some more. Um, I've got more stuff. I will. I will. I will. At some point very soon. Um, and I'll plan on doing a room tour thing very soon. And a few people have asked me to do more Games Master comment. Oh, I nearly knocked my can of juice over onto my nice desk mat. That would have been disastrous. Um, I've got uh, a, what? a few people have asked me to do Games Master commentaries and stuff like that. So I will um, soon as well. Um, I'm just trying to get through a sort of backlog of work. Is what I'm trying to do. Clear a, a lot of stuff just now. Um, but the joys of working from home, or not the joys from working from home, is drink time. Is sometimes it's hard to um, switch off in the sense that you'll get up on a Saturday morning, you're like, oh, I'll do a couple of hours of work here or Sunday night. and But it is what it is. It's my choice. I'm not being forced to do anything. It's my, my own uh, decision to work every hour Jesus makes. Jesus doesn't exist. Lord Elon exists. Internet God. Um, sorry. Hopefully that doesn't offend anybody. Never mind. Um, so that's it from you guys. Honestly, that's about it. Um, I'll try and get more content going. That That's actually the reason I was doing a little bit of streaming, but then my internet became completely unstable, so I stopped that entirely. Um, hopefully that'll be fixed moving forward, and if it is, um, streaming's always something that I avoid to do a bit more of. I've got loads of Windy Pops because I've drunk lots of Pepsi is what I have. But yeah, I'll try to have a semi-better 
content upload schedule, but I'm not promising anything. It is what it is. As long as I'm well, and as long as everybody else is well, that's all that's important, I suppose. But now we have to edit this. I stopped using Adobe, Adobe um, Premiere because I tried to install a dodgy version of um, Adobe uh, Acrobat Pro and it messed up my Premiere installation. Now it knows that it's not a proper version. So I've switched over to DaVinci Resolve and it seems quite good. So I'm going to have to now try to edit this and upload it. But like I said, folks, um, hope everybody is well. Um, loads of people are still watching my videos. I check out the stats. Um, still getting new subscribers considering I've not really done much properly with this channel for a very, very long time. Hopefully um, that will change moving forward for 2021. I suppose if I clear my, my work backlog, I've got nothing else to do just now, I suppose, because we're kind of go outside and do real life stuff. But hey, -ho, hopefully that will change too as well. But I say, um, thank you very much for watching. As always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bing! Boom! Do you have a monkey in your pants?